for joining us at five today. Many cities across the nation are honoring the brave men and women who fought for our country in Branson. Crowds braved the cold this morning to show support for those who served in its annual Veterans Day parade. Color 10 Sydney Moran is live in downtown Branson sharing their stories. Bailey and Steve, the parade wrapped up a weeks long celebration of veterans here in the Ozarks, and it was the patriotism that brought people from all over to honor those that have served. When it said 39 degrees this morning, I said, let's bundle up and go. And here we are. Every year on November 11th, downtown Branson is filled with not only red, white, and blue, but appreciation. Thank you recognition coming from miles away. We live in California. We came all the way. We love Branson. We love the atmosphere and we just respect our veterans so much. That gratitude hitting close to home for those who have served. It's great how the country supports our veterans and uh, then we have an activity like this. They come out and support the activity. So it's just a really good feeling. Home for veteran Bill Martin is Kansas City. I uh, joined the Navy in, uh, actually in 63, uh, early, early 1963. I just uh, had been going to SMS to school and decided that uh, the draft was kind of trailing me, so I'd like to go ahead and get my service out of the way. For the past week, Branson has held events for veterans to honor their service. It's really been wonderful and eye-opening to see how the veterans are are uh, treated here. Veteran Lewis Johnson traveled from Michigan for the festivities. We did all the film festival and then we've done taken in a few sh extra shows and uh, gonna go to the show boat tonight. It was more than what you expect I guess because you didn't really realize uh, how much it really means to people. These are all heroes. We need to roll out the red carpet for them every day. Happy day. Giving back to those who gave their all for the country. If it wasn't for the veterans, we wouldn't have all this liberty, freedom. I'm glad to be an American and to serve my country and to live in America. We, we are a blessed country no matter what's going on. Uh, God's in control, and all we got to do is follow his directions. Many families are looking forward to next year's parade, but are hoping it is just a little bit warmer. Reporting in Branson, City Moran, Ozarks First.